focus on the battle of the states and today this battle literally begins. It begins from the heartland of Chhattisgarh, the Naxal dominated belt where about 20 seats are polling today. The state of Mizoram also votes today and it's going to be an important day to watch out for. Today it's literally the poll bugle being sounded. When the voters go out and cast their ballot, they would be deciding on the fate of hundreds of candidates and most importantly, this battle is seen as a precursor to the big battle of 2024. All the updates, all the big voices lined up here on CNN News 18. Let's cut across to all the developments coming in. This is our top focus here on CNN News 18 for the Battle of States. And voting for the first phase of Chhattisgarh Assembly elections, that's underway right now. 20 seats, 12 in the Naxal hotbed buster and 8 in Rajnand Gao will be deciding the fate of more than 223 candidates who have thrown their hat in the ring. While focus will be on the security arrangements because this is from the internal security point of view, it's a tricky area, heavy security deployment has been made. The key contenders include former Chief Minister Raman Singh's seat of Rajnand Gao that's also being closely watched. This is the only seat which has a sitting MLA. Congress party had won about 19 of the 20 seats back in 2018 elections and subsequent by-elections that had happened there. Multi-led security has been put in place amid threat from the Naxals. Remember, amid this high security, an IED blast by the Naxals in Kankir injured one BSF personnel and two polling personnel yesterday. And that's the reason that Chhattisgarh is polling in two phases. As I said, the primary reason is the Naxal-dominated hotbed. The first phase of polling in Chhattisgarh has commenced. Uh, the state is voting in two phases. The second phase scheduled for the 17th of November. 20 constituencies in Chhattisgarh are going for, for polls. Uh, about 90 seats in total for the state of Chhattisgarh. It's a 90-member state assembly. Most of the seats going for polls in the first phase are located in the seven districts of the Nastal affected, uh, the Naxal affected Buster Division, and four other districts. Now, because this area is predominantly affected by Naxalism, heavy security deployments have been made there. Even the poll, uh, you know, the, the polling stations have got extra protection. There are various villages which are going to poll today and they have some very difficult security situations amidst uh, which voting is going to take place. If you talk about these uh, different districts which are going to polls today, it includes Rajanand Gao, which I said is a litmus test for Raman Singh. My colleague Arunima has been reporting from Ground Zero. I believe she's live with us on the broadcast from Jagdalpur uh, in the Bastar region. Good morning, Arunima. A very important day for Chhattisgarh. The Naxal-dominated belt uh, votes today. The key things to watch out for. And the day hasn't begun on a good note. Already uh, reports coming in of injury to a Cobra CRPF Jawan. This is in Tonda Marka Sukma. An IED exploded this morning when uh, the Jawans were out uh, for, for uh, you know, uh, patrolling. Uh, this was to sanitize the route that the villagers are going to take for uh, polling. And uh, in the, on that route itself, an IED was planted. It blasted off, giving ankle injury to this uh, Jawan from the Cobra Battalion of uh, CRPF. He is being given medical attention. Yesterday also an IED exploded, a pressure IED ex exploded in Kanke, uh, where BSF uh, personnel got, got uh, you know, blown off. His, his legs were injured. Mm. Two polling party officials took injuries as well. Uh, so the Naxals have planted pressure IEDs, IEDs across the Bastar division. These are uh, constituencies of Konta in Sukma, Bijapur, Dantewada, Jagdalpur, Kondagaon, Bastar, 
Kanker, Narayanpur. So all of these are, uh, you know, Naxal dominated areas and we are seeing how Naxals are trying to make their presence felt, uh, deterring villagers from coming out and voting. There have been two incidents I reported. There are also incidents of uh, firing happening from the CPI Maoist side, uh, taking on the, the security forces who have uh, laid out a three-layered grid here uh, to give confidence to the voters to come out and vote. Absolutely. And Arunima, as you point out, it hasn't begun on a good note with those instances being reported. Give us a broad sense of what kind of security arrangements are in place. We've seen your reports about the multi-layered security arrangements that have been made. The Naxal threat is predominantly the reason why the state is polling in two phases. What kind of security arrangements and the number of personnel which have been deployed? Yes, uh, so, so colloquially you would say chappe chappe pe nazar, uh, you know that is that is the strategy of the security grid here. There is a three-layered security, special forces, the CRPF Cobra, uh, the DRG which is the District Reserve Guard of the State Police, there is also the Danteshwari Fighters, a special force of uh, Chhattisgarh Police, they have all uh, been pressed into service. Along with this three-layered security, the borders that the Chhattisgarh shares with Telangana, Maharashtra, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, the police of these states have also been asked to uh, step up alert on the borders. Why? because Naxals are known to carry out a crime in the jurisdiction of one state and then flee to the jurisdiction of another state, thereby limiting what the police uh, can, can really do because there are jurisdictional issues. So that's why border states have also been alerted. MI-17 choppers and drones are keeping an eye in the sky. Polling parties have been taken uh, deep inside forested areas where polling booths have been set up for the first time in many areas. 126 villages are seeing polling booths in their villages for the first time. There are 600 booths which have been identified as sensitive and yeah. there is special security arrangements for those in other areas also security is the top focus uh, and there is an appeal from the IG here uh, Mr. P. Sundar Raj who is the IG of Bastar hmm. to voters that we are doing our bit but it is your responsibility as well to come out and vote.